welcome back and welcome to my August TBR. Yes, we are already in August. How crazy is that? So, my August TBR will be cut slightly short because I am flying back to the UK um, in the month of August. So, by the time I do my August wrap up, it would be like the middle of September. So, August is going to be a slightly shorter reading month. Um, which means that some of my reads may spill into September um, but I also have um, a flight back to the UK which has quite a long connection time as well so I will be having a big like chunk of reading right at the end of August so when you see my August wrap up I will probably be reading in the sky somewhere over the Atlantic with that being said, uh, as always, going to break this down into August releases, a couple of September releases, and other books I want to get to, as always. So, the first one I want to read is out on the 1st of August, so by the time this comes, this goes up, it will all be, already be released. This is the second book in the Tanglewood Animal Park series, The Troublesome Tiger, but the book that is coming out on the 1st of August is Elephant Emergency. This series is by Tamsin Murray and is really, really good. It's so entertaining um, and you learn so much from these books, so I can't wait to read that one. I'm actually going to ordered this one and probably have it be there in the UK for me for when I land. So that's the plan with that one. Then on the 4th of August, so this Thursday, obviously these are all UK release dates. If I know the US release date, I will tell you as well. Um, on the 4th of August, I've got If You Could See Me Now by Kara Staten. I have a copy of this one on my Kindle and so this is basically going to be my next read. Um, and that's out on the 4th of August. I think that's in both countries because it's published by Bookshow and normally they publish across UK and US. So fingers crossed for that one. And then on the 10th of August, I've got as well on my Kindle, um, House of Secrets by Sarah Manning. Uh, this one is actually already out on audiobook, but it comes out in paperback on the 10th of August, and so that's when I'm going to have my review up for. And also on the 10th of August, we have the new Adriana Trigiani book called Kiss Carlo coming out in the UK. This one is already out in hardback in the US, so um, you can get it in Barnes and Noble, you can get it in. Um, the library and um, I will leave a link to my TBR post which has a link to buy as well. So those are the August releases. I have one July release left over which is going to end up being read in August and that is Jenny Sparrow Knows the Future which you will have seen me talk about in my July TBR, both my video and my blog post. Um, so there's that one. Then other books I want to get to. Um, I'm still waiting on the wait list for Hunger by Roxane Gay. I was going to go to an event with her, but it was ticketed and I kind of left it to the last minute, so I didn't end up going to that one. Um, and then from the library, I have Tell Me Three Things and on hold, I have What To Say Next by Julie Buxbaum. Um, I would quite like to wait to listen to Tell Me Three Things until I can then straight away start reading what to say next straight after let me know in comments if I should do that or whether they're completely separate and I should just read listen to tell me three things now because I do have that checked out on my overdrive the other audiobook I have on my overdrive that I would like to get to this month it's a long one and I had the physical book checked out the library and then someone had a hold in it so I had to take it back and that's the inexplicable logic of my life which is by the same author who wrote Aristotle, Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe so those are a couple of audiobooks that I have that I definitely know I want to get to then, of course, we have the rest of the I Heart uh, book club readathon. I still need to read I Heart Vegas. Um, I have that one checked out on audiobook, and I also have it on my Kindle, so we'll see how I read that one. And then we have I Heart London and I Heart Christmas, which I will be reading. Again, I have the physical copies, but I also have the ebooks and I've got the option to read these on audiobook as well so I may 
switch and change I don't know both of these are signed so I don't really want to be popping them in my handbag although it looks like I may have got coffee on this one already so you know you never know uh yes and then a few books I have checked out of the library uh well, two of these I tentatively put on my booktube on TBR and then didn't end up reading them but I'm in no rush to read them so that's absolutely fine um I am on the big non-fiction kick so I have a new model by Ashley Graham checked out the library as you can see this is quite short so I might sort of pick this up oh, it's got pictures in as well might pick this up when I'm really feeling the non-fiction one day this is just under 200 pages so I think this will be a in one day sitting and obviously these library books have to be read by the time I leave the country because you know I can't take them with me and need to return them because they'll need to be returned uh, and then obviously you've heard me talk about this one this one is Raw by Cora Carmack I got this I was like waiting for this as soon as it was released on the wait list got one of the first copies I think this is probably yeah I don't think anybody else has read this um, and I still haven't read it so that is definitely a priority this month and I'm looking forward to seeing what she does with it because I again not a massive fantasy reader and I loved her other books so I love her as a writer so we'll see how we get on with that one um, and then one I'm really excited to read and again it's got really big font <laughs> The font in this one is massive so even though it's quite chunky I think that Love and Gelato is going to be quite a quick read and I know a few people who either have read this recently or are planning on reading this sometime soon so hopefully all that hype will get me want to read it as well and then the other one which uh, I talked about briefly in my booktube son slash 24 and 48 wrap up is um happily ever after these are the um selection series stories or novellas sort of companion stories so it's got the prince the guard the queen and the favorite which are all from the first three books spin-off stories and it also has exclusive scenes lush illustrations I'm not sure if that's like illustrations of Lush the Shop or like just very juicy looking pictures. Uh, a bonus epilogue to The One, which should be really exciting, and more. So um, I'm excited about this one. I have heard that it's got um, some family trees and some maps and things in as well. So I'm looking forward to reading this one at some point. Again, even though it's quite chunky, I think it's probably going to be quite a quick read. So the sort of few library books I've got, I think, should be day dedication to them and then I've got two which I keep talking about in my videos and then not reading and I don't know why I keep not reading them uh, both of them were sent to me by Simon and Schuster this one was sent to me by Simon and Schuster UK and that is Chase the Rainbow by Porna Bell I think I'm going to be doing this one as a buddy read I'm just waiting to find out from Hayley when she wants to read it so Hayley let me know and let's read this soon and then this one was sent to me by Simon & Schuster US which is A Stitch of Time which you'll have heard me talk about is about somebody who discovers that they have um, a brain injury and uh, the first little bit set in Scotland so that's quite exciting. So again an overly ambitious TBR but then you know July TBR there was only a few books on there that I didn't read and there was lots of extra books that I did read I think my July TBR had 25 books on it and I ended up reading 29 books in the month of July anyway so just fingers crossed for that one please let me know in the comments if you have read or are planning on reading any of these books or which you are most excited to hear my thoughts on if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are not already I would love you to hit that subscribe button and uh, join my little YouTube community um, all my social media links are below so you can follow my progress with all of these books and as I post the reviews on my blog it is always linked below as well so I will have another video for you very soon if not tomorrow um, and I will see you then bye